Hi everyone, Richard Nijelski here for FitLink. In this video, I'll demonstrate the correct procedure for performing and teaching the seated dumbbell biceps curl exercise. The biceps curl is an isolated exercise in that it only works one set of muscles and uses primarily one joint. There are a variety of bicep curl exercises which can be done. These include using dumbbells, barbell, cable and pin loaded machines. As well, it may be performed in both the standing position or in the seated position. In this demonstration, we'll show you the seated dumbbell curl exercise. The basic bicep curl is performed with the palm of the hand in the supine position, which is the position where the biceps brachii is most active. When picking up any weight off the floor or from the rack, engage your lower abdominals to support your back. Seated on the end of the bench with your feet fairly close together, hold a dumbbell in each hand with the knuckles facing outwards by the side of the body. The elbow remains pinned against the side of the body. The biceps contract, the elbows flex, and the lower arm moves towards the upper arm. As the arm passes the thigh, the hands rotate outwards and the palms face upwards. A neutral spine position should be maintained throughout the exercise, avoiding excessive arching in the lower spine and rounding of the shoulders. As a personal trainer, just as important as being able to do the exercise is teaching a client how to do the exercise correctly. This will require the use of good communication skills and understanding your client's learning style. Let's now have a look at an example of demonstrating this exercise to a client. Right Kistra, so uh, we're going to do the dumbbell bicep curl this time. Uh, there's a few ways to do the bicep curl. Today we're going to do the seated dumbbell vision. Right now that's an isolated exercise, it uses just the one joint, the elbow joint and the biceps muscle. Uh, again I'll go over the instructions, I'll demonstrate and then I'll get you to do it as well. Alright, so we're going to bend down using your back, nice good posture, we're going to pick up the dumbbells, sit on the seat, I want you to keep your abs nice and tight and engaged, start with the dumbbells by your side, right, I want your knuckles facing in, the outside of your hands facing outside, we're then going to twist as we bring them up, keep that upper arm locked in, elbows stay down, break down and up, make sense? Sure does. Cool. So down by your side, abs nice and engaged, we're going to twist as we come up, Keep that elbow locked in. And down. Nice and smooth motions. All right. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. So knuckles facing in. That's right, we want to twist on the way up. Keep that elbow locked into the side of your body. We're going to go for four more of those. Remember that twist on the way up. Last two. All right now, let the weights down softly. So that was an example of how to demonstrate and instruct this exercise. The principles of demonstrating and teaching this exercise can be applied to all similar exercises and movements. For some clients, there are some precautions which should be considered. For a client with little or no experience, start with a low weight and gradually increase the weight as they become more accustomed to the exercise. If the client is experiencing any pain, stop the exercise immediately and investigate. Clients with any shoulder instability, elbow and wrist conditions and those with excessive lumbar lordosis should be cautious when performing this exercise. Modifications and alternatives may need to be considered for those with any contraindications.